what's up Taurus I'm going to do a Divine Masculine Divine Feminine Energy Reading if you don't know um, I do do these readings in regards to balancing yourself but you can also most definitely listen in regards to you and your person or another person uh, I just believe you if you're drawn to the title this is a message for you whether you are a Taurus or not so first off we're gonna get one this overall energy who's watching over you who can you call upon okay you're getting two Master Jesus and Archangel Michael okay so this is wild because um, Mary Magdalene came out in Aries reading and I thought it, but I did not say it, but the fact that Jesus came out. Mary Magdalene is uh, Jesus's twin flame, okay? So, Master Jesus, this is about forgiveness. You're on a path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So, I feel like you are forgiving, learning to, there are people like learning to forgive themselves as fathers, okay? Uh, this is also like, maybe your father wasn't there, maybe maybe you weren't there as a father for your own children. Um, it, 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 what, however that father energy is surrounding you at this time, Taurus, it's like you are healing from that. It's like... Um, there's something here maybe I, I even heard like you didn't choose correctly or you feel like it's almost like you're beating yourself up for choosing to uh create a child or family life with someone that has brought chaos into your life and isn't a stable like isn't even able to be um like however you picture a home life like i feel like you have like this stereotypical um or you just have like some sort of idea of what mom and dad and children and the house and the cars and the vacation like like you have an idea of life in your mind and it's like i feel like you're beating yourself up a lot because this is not the life that you are able to give your child at this time or children at this time so there's something to do with that here okay um archangel michael is here so um he also came up in aries energy so uh you could be connected to an aries uh yeah supreme protection it says you are protected cords are being cut move beyond limitations and trust okay so uh you're being asked to release control for us okay your your energy feels very uh like my throat wants to close up okay so i feel like you feel very restricted or there's a feeling of restriction here okay um like controlling okay like there's just something here of like wanting control to have control but not having control so i'm not sure if that's in relation to yourself or like with what your world around you okay it's like there's things that are just like have gotten out of hand okay that's what i'm hearing things have gotten out of hand and um yeah i'm hearing okay you know that movie um norbit and what's her name resvusha okay so there's something about resvusha either you feel like you're in a relationship with a resvusha or you yourself are resvusha um and maybe this is coming to your awareness okay so there's something here about this all right and um yeah all right so give me one card here for divine feminine energy for this taurus energy for whoever is watching yeah two of gabriel okay so this is the two of wands it says make bold and ambitious choices great progress is possible important relationships with people who share your vision yeah so i feel like like possibly for some of you it's like uh you are beginning to see the light at the end of the tunnel i feel like there's there's a, there's some of you here that you have gotten to the other side of whatever that controlling energy is and for others of you you're still in it but know that there are people like i feel like very close like like all you have to do is kind of like ask for help and um 
like it's like like your 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 pathway is going to open up it says the people who share your vision it's like other people who think like you and like as far as like that home life it's like you have some sort of idea of how you want your life to be and it's like i feel like you're realizing the part that you've played in not bringing reality into the situation as far as to who you were choosing okay to bring about this life that you wanted yeah eight of gabriel so here's eight of wands it says a great deal of activity sudden and immediate results important communication yeah so this is for the divine masculine energy so i feel like uh taurus it's like this is you like taking charge it's like getting the downloads from the divine okay even possibly it's like if you have a mentor or something like that it's like like i said there's something here about asking for help and so it's like you're getting the help you need you're you're now it's just about like it's not so much like it's like you're hearing what needs to be heard but now it's about taking action in your life to bring about the changes that you actually want to see in your life okay so yeah i'm hearing a lot of big big energy all right the connection yeah the wheel see but the like the wheel is turning but it's up to you uh it says new beginnings ends of delays a change in direction that offers happiness yeah see but it's like yeah solutions okay that you had to be willing to listen or if you're not there yet it's like you're being pushed to listen to someone other than uh yourself or whoever these controlling energies were around you okay or are around you okay um, it says success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing. So forgiving and um, forgiving and healing and this control and self-control. Okay. So it's like, yeah, I'm hearing Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> All right. Of course, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you because uh, this shit is not easy. All right. Give me one card for... Uh, divine feminine energy please yeah true love this is what you want this is what you're seeking okay there's something here about your finances and your career okay really focused on this so possibly this could have caused some sort of interference in your relationship towards your relationship aspects or what does this say? financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so um I feel like you want this true love, but it's like you need to focus on money right now because I feel like something obscure. Okay, I'm hearing the word obscure. Okay, divine masculine energy, please. Separation. Yeah, so somebody could be traveling to see, look, see, worth waiting for. And I feel like this is an awareness that you're beginning to have. It's like whatever you want is worth working towards. Okay. It's like, I feel like whatever rush you were always in to like have everything look like the picture, but there's, it's like this awareness in the fact that just because something is all dressed up and looks all nicey nice does not mean like when you like, like look behind the curtain that it's still nicey nice. And I feel like there's, you're having that connection that like looks aren't everything okay and the shiny stuff like isn't everything like you're realizing it has to start within everything has to start within because it's like yeah see there's something about like being on this wheel of like doing something over and over again it's like um okay it's like seeing somebody who um let's say they quit drinking quit doing drugs but it's like they they quit drinking they quit doing drugs they they start doing the right thing and you know they get a job they're like fast track like all the way up like um in their industry whatever it is making lots of money they got the house they got the car they got the girlfriend boyfriend whatever they stop popping out kids whatever and then boom they start drinking and drugging again lose fucking everything okay so then they're like out and then they come back again and they're like uh, they get back on track, they get the job, they just do the same thing over and over again. This is like 5, 10, 15 times, whatever, whatever, okay? But this is like having the awareness, fuck, I need to slow the fuck down, okay? And it doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter if, like, I need to stay. It's like realizing the foundation that needs to be built is like this true love within self. And how are you going to do that? It's by building that foundation 
like within you so that you know that you can withstand the storm. All right. So it's like, instead of like building upon like twigs, it's like you're fucking, you know, digging it down. You're laying whatever the foundation down you're putting bricks on top of that. You're putting cement on top of that. Like you're making sure that shit is going to be solid and it is not going to be ripped up next time. Right. So, um, yeah, so there, there's, you are in separate separation from whoever your person is. They could live at a distance. You could be uh, communicating via, like, text message or, like, phone calls or something like that. But it's like, if this is going to last, it's like, or if this is truly going to be what you want, uh, it's like, it is worth waiting for. Like, they're going to be there when you're ready. Because right now, your focus is, like, on loving yourself okay or at least that's the option being presented to you okay to have this awareness to have this reality check is what they just said all right give me one card for the connection yeah children yeah so some of you like you actually do like have children like there is something happening here yeah so and it says let your friends uh, help you yeah there's heartache I feel like someone was like really really deceived here it's just like you thought one thing was one way it's like you did something I'm hearing the words traditional like you did something the quote-unquote traditional way but it, like it turns out like you ain't fucking traditional right okay so it's like you're learning to do things differently and like learning not to like true like you're learning Whoever this is for, it's like somebody's learning, like, the art of truly not giving a fuck isn't about saying I don't give a fuck and being all, like, tough. And it's like truly not giving a fuck, looking crazy as fuck, as long as you have to look crazy as fuck, if that's what it means to bring on this true love of self for yourself, okay? And it's like you're doing it to heal yourself. And you know that as you heal yourself, you're going to be able to teach your children how to heal themselves, too. And it's like... It's like, it's not about these like material gains anymore for you. Somebody's getting like a broader perspective or a broader view of like their future and realizing like they'll, they'll stay small and they don't care who fucking knows anymore. Like, like they're not interested in, um, out which is like a big lesson here, Taurus, because Taurus likes like the finer things. Okay. Taurus, like you, like you're stubborn, but you're also like into like getting all that material stuff. Like you love that shit. So the fact that you're learning, it's not that you don't love it. You're just learning to appreciate it in a different sense, in a different way. All right. It's realizing it's putting more value on what you have on the inside. Okay. Versus it's like not basing who you are on what you have on the outside. It's realizing like, Oh shit. Like I'm hearing like, I ain't shit. Like, like, ha but it, everybody, we're all worth it. Okay. We go through these lessons. So God like wakes us up, you know, um, gently or like with a big couple smacks across the face that hurt like hell, you know? Um, and I feel like there's some Tauruses here that have really gone through this. Okay. And have gotten a, like a swift fucking kick in the ass here. Okay. Boot up your ass. That's what I'm hearing. All right. So, or two. And so, um, but it was like a rude wake up call, but it's like it needed to happen. Yeah, it was all about divine timing. Okay, but it's bringing me about healing. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing and energy. Yeah, because I feel like it's been very humbling. It's been a humbling experience, but maybe for a while you've been feeling like humiliated. All right, but it's like there's nothing like to feel and nobody's fucking perfect Taurus, okay and the greatest of like the most like like there's billionaires out there like story that they'll tell you like they failed multiple times before they got to where they're going like i mean it's been my story too you know like i can't even tell you how many times i've fucking fallen off my my pedestal that i thought i was on and it's only made me better it's only made me better. So I feel like you're finally getting an idea that um, this character building that you're undergoing right now is or has much more value than driving like a Mercedes Benz or whatever. Okay, looking like 
you got something or have something okay so um yeah i'm hearing if you want to be happy for the rest of your life never make a pretty woman your wife so from my personal point of view gets an ugly girl to marry you <laughs> so that song pretty much sums it up it's like looks ain't everything it's like the shiny things i feel like you're realizing like the sh the value of what's beneath the surface okay so this could just be in relation to yourself or it's like others it's all things so uh pretty pretty tough lesson but um that's that's i'm telling you it's going to take you much further than the shiny things okay it's like you're learning uh yeah lessons of value here okay taurus yeah expanding your horizons coming out of the the box of your comfort zone okay you're daring to um step into other other um territory yeah hold the course staying focused okay keeping your your eyes forward yeah miracles expect the wonders to emerge and opening to your spiritual source yeah so i feel like you guys are like tapping into it, 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 you're having like a spiritual awakening and it's it's bringing you closer to your higher power which is amazing and it's like what yeah see enjoy the journey a wandering path it's like i remember you know back in the day when i first um I would always ask why but why why and they were like my maureen she said to me she's like why you gotta know everything lisa are you some kind of control freak or something and i was like oh shit like i never even knew i was a control freak like that but it turned out you know like yeah hell yeah i am and so it's like getting the map getting the instructions from someone else and like truly listening and no longer worrying about like where everybody else is on that map it's like yeah, because that's another valuable lesson that I learned it was um, to mind my own damn business. And I think, Taurus, that you're finally doing that. And uh, it, you're going to really benefit in a huge way from it, okay? You could be seeing um, eights. Yeah. Uh, please contact me. I may not respond, but knowing you care opens my heart. Okay. Somebody wants you to know that. Or this is like, it's like you're saying this to somebody. You want somebody to contact you. I feel like you're, uh, yeah, because you guys are in separation. But you are telepathically communicating. And I'm also hearing that this is a message because your person is watching this. And this is so they know that they want, like, they're telling you, whoever the person of Taurus is, um, they want you to text. But if they don't text back know that it's it's not that they're just not there yet it doesn't mean that they don't love you or don't want to hear from you it's just like they're not there yet to do the response and that's up to you or like whether you want to do that shit or not right so it says i know the universe works in mysterious ways but sometimes i judge this situation instead of surrendering to it yeah so there's something here because taurus you're so traditional right there there's something here about like your stubbornness and your tradition like your tradition is like, like I said, it's like whatever you wanted, it's like you had it, but it's like it all fucking blew up in your face. You're realizing it wasn't all that it, 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 it was cracked up to be, but it's like there's a part of you, uh, I feel like that this is probably what's been healing. It, there, there's parts of you that like it still is like, okay, so how do I work with this now? Like, because really I think like whoever it is that you want or whoever it is that you're thinking of, it's like maybe there's something out of the ordinary or about them okay something that doesn't fit the traditional bill of like you know whatever it is that you've always pictured for yourself it says i'm going through a dark night of the soul nothing in my life is making sense exactly it's because i honestly it feels like taurus like your whole world got turned upside down but it's like this is so you know this is a collective reading so you have to just put yourself where you are if you're not here yet this is why this like 
like tower moment in your life or this upside down this the, the wheel is turning this is why it's happening so that you can there's a lesson behind here okay this is why you've been separated from whoever okay or feel um, at a loss for words okay it's because uh, you're learning a new uh, a whole new value system and then it says I'm awakening I know more than I'm letting on it's a 10 see and then here it says as twin flames we we are here to ascend and help others do the same yeah so like that that's to me what twin flames are you know um, twin flames are like part of the first hundred forty four thousand I believe that were placed here on earth to help in the grand awakening of the world okay as we expand and come into higher awareness of the world around us and each other and for me like the highest energy of all is love okay and and I do believe that how we heal the world is by healing ourselves it starts within so um, and as twin flames it's like we get the toughest of the fucking battles right because it's like we got to go through everything so that we can rise above and, and learn to come into this balance. And then as we come into this balance, we attract the other people that are in, in balance with our, with that have done the same thing. Right. And it's like, as we do that and, and we, um, come together and we live this life and we show that it can actually happen, but first it starts within. So, you know, you are being awakened. Maybe you've been aware that you're a twin flame, but it's like, um, maybe you've been on the part of the journey where it's like you've just kind of been romanticizing it because that for me was definitely a um, they just said I'm taking the trash out outside or my kids just said that so it's like it's like and that's what you're doing it's like you're realizing like everything isn't just like sunshine and roses it's like anything worth keeping is like worth doing the work for and so it's like going beneath the surface it's not just saying oh we're twin flames and blah 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 no it's like if you're a fucking twin flame you're fucking doing the work like you can't get away with doing the work and and with not doing the work and um so it's like coming to the reality that this shit is real and um but it starts with you true love of self but you are like learning to allow others to help you okay which is a whole other lesson right look forgiving and learning yeah a lot of healing going on for you Taurus and it's all good although you might not be feeling that great right now okay the number 14 could be significant as well oh yeah look and here's 14 again um all right, so there you have it. If anyone's interested in a personal reading, uh, I am not taking readings like through my like via text message through my phone. You have to either go through my website, lululisatrolovegrow.com, or DM me or email me. All that information is in my description box, and I will see you soon, Taurus. Bye.